So let's say you have voice acting in your Renpy game and you want to add a toggle to your preferences menu to disable or enable voice acting as an alternative to the voice volume slider. How do you do it? Well, we are going to go into our init Python block, and this one is in a file that I have called callback.rpy. It contains all of the other callback functions that I use for text sounds. This one is going to be a modification of an existing function that I covered in a previous video, and we're going to call it click to continue. And first, it's going to look for if persistent.voiceacting is false or none. In that case, it will run this code, which essentially finds the length of the dialog block, then creates a queue of sounds selected randomly, and will play those sounds for the duration of the dialog block. On the contrary, if the dialog block is empty, then it just plays the sound five times. Now, what are these sounds? If we look at the path, it's audio type tap zero random sound dot wav. And if we go into the files, we can see there's tap 01, tap 02, tap 03, etc., all the way up until tap 09. I have rando sound equal to a random number between 1 and 7 inclusive because I didn't quite like the sound of tap 8 and tap 9. And I recorded these by just opening up Audacity holding my keyboard up to the mic, and tapping keys in different places on the keyboard. Now, if persistent.voiceacting is true, then we should just play the standard click to continue sound, which sounds like this. This click to continue function should be in the character object of every character in your game. So you would format it as callback equals click to continue. And as a reminder, click to continue is the name of our function. So then how do we set persistent.voiceacting to true or false? Well, in screens.rpy, we want to go to screen preferences, and somewhere within screen preferences, we're going to create a VBox, and we're going to have two text buttons, one called enabled and the other called disabled, and the one that you label uh, as enabled, you're going to set variable persistent.voiceacting to true, and then I have here set mute, something that's specific to my game, and make sure that the style prefix is radio, and for your own sanity, create a, a label for these two buttons called voice acting, or something that is human readable. In the game, it looks like this. We have, in my case, I have the V box inside of an H box, so it's in the same row as the display settings. Uh, but if I toggle, if I keep this as enabled, and I go back to the game, as a reminder, this conversation will be recorded. That's how it sounds when there is voice acting. And now I'm going to go back into the preferences menu, click disabled, and then play the next line. And then if I go back into Preferences, hit Enabled. What? Don't you know how you got here? And I'll do that again. Disabled. So that's pretty much it. Again, this is a modification of an existing text sounds function. I made a video to that, and I will link it in the end card. Um, but Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and I will see you next time.